Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Thanksgiving. I wanted to do a quick video. So people that are wondering, are they rapture ready? Um, have they done everything they needed to do to be saved? And I want you all to know what it is and how to know. It's by faith alone, through grace alone, that makes us ready. We know this if we just go to the cross. Jesus was crucified between two thieves. The one on the left was mocking him and saying, if you're really the Messiah, get us down from the cross. The one on the right said, in Luke 23, 42 is where you can find this, New King James Version. And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. He was recognizing Jesus. And he looked at Jesus, and then he said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He recognized Jesus as the Messiah. That's what he did. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. This man did not have the opportunity to, you know, Forgive any, anybody that had wronged him, um, to get down off the cross, to be baptized. He didn't have that opportunity. He was on the cross right next to Jesus. But Jesus, because he believed in Jesus being the Messiah, okay, he was saved. It was just that. It will never be our works that gain us to heaven. It, it, that's not our entrance. Jesus had to come here and die for us and be raised from the dead for us. So through him, we may have eternal life with him. Never our works. So where does this other scripture fall in? Well, after we believe in Jesus and the Holy Spirit indwells in us, we learn the word and we try to put it into practice the best that we can. Now we're gonna fall short. We're gonna make mistakes because we're flesh. We're human. That's what happens. Every single day, we're going to fall short. And that's why we're lucky and we are blessed that we have Jesus and his grace to save us. It is that. Now, another example could be, I don't know if any of you ever went and prayed for someone or prayed with someone when, you know, maybe they only had 24 hours to live. I've done it. And share the gospel. Do you think they have time to live a righteous life, um, to walk rightly, to forgive, um, to, to repent? Do, you know, we recognize we are sinners in need of a Savior. That's what we do. But it's only believing on Jesus that gets us to heaven. All those other things we're going to try to, you know, do every single day. But there's going to be people that don't have that opportunity. And that's not going to stop them from getting into heaven. You know, it's not going to stop them at all. And I think the cross is the easiest way to look at that, to know for sure. You know, if someone's, you know, in a hospice, do they have a chance to go get baptized? No. You know, is that going to stop them from getting into heaven? No. Are they going to be judged for things they don't know? No. Are we going to be judged for things that we do know? Yes. We're all going to be judged one day and answer for all the things that we've done, you know, our works. Um, you know, we repent of our sins. We ask for forgiveness, you know, and Jesus remembers our sin no more. But he does look at our works. That's where we can gain crowns and lose crowns. But there are some people that aren't going to have any chance to have any works, okay? They're not going to be judged the same way as us, you know, that do know right from wrong. So anyways, with that being said, knowing that we're imperfect, um, we are nothing that we can do. We can try our best to live the righteous life because that's what, because we love Jesus. You know, that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to make mistakes. And those mistakes are not going to, say, oh, no, you can't go to heaven now. No, Jesus laid down his life once and for all. You know, it is once saved, always saved. That That's it. 
The only way it's not it is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. And that's a total rejection of Jesus. You know, so that that's the only thing that's going to stop you. If you believe in Jesus and what he did, that he laid down his life for us, that he was dead and he was buried and he rose again on the third day, believing on that is how you are saved. Okay. And it does make you rapture ready. And so with that being said, um, I hope, I really just hope I gave a simple explanation, um, maybe easier to understand. So if someone's having doubts, like, am I really saved? Well, this is how you know. Um, and do your best to, to live a good life, you know, to love others and to have grace and compassion. You know, Jesus, while he was on the cross, the men, there was four men at the bottom of the cross that were casting lots for his garments. And Jesus on the cross said, Father, forgive them for what they, um, for they do not know what they do. Okay. Jesus had compassion on the cross for them. So let's love one another, um, help encourage one another that what we have to do is to believe in our Lord and what he did, he paid the ultimate price for us. Um, and we can be very thankful for that and be looking forward to meeting everyone in the sky, you know, because um, he's coming soon. Share the gospel. Love somebody. Okay. Um, I, I hope this, this helps. Have a blessed day, everyone.